What up citizens and welcome back to another beautiful day in La La Land. So today we are at Grand Central Market downtown LA. If you guys know nothing about this, this is like a culinary food journey. Literally. Once upon a time this used to be like just like an abandoned building and a lot of like new chefs through like a lot of restaurants in here, new concepts, and baby lips and I are about to throw down. More, more likely me. Baby lips right here guys. All the good food, all these bong, banger restaurants everywhere. And this is the place that we love. Del Campo Meat Company. I guess that's the whole Italian sausage and lamb casings because we do not eat pork. So this is so hard to find. Hashtag we found it. Why are we stocking up on meat? Because we like to eat. Yes, but also the citizens requested something. Yeah. Yep. You guys want to see cooking videos? So we are at Del Campo Butcher, and we are literally getting all this meat, all these different styles of cuts, because we are going to bring you guys the cooking videos that you requested. Isn't that right, my love? And some are really interesting. Some dope, some experimental. Some very experimental, but you guys get to experiment with us. baby this huge thing at this place called Bel Campo uh, organic free-range meat this thing is filled filled with meat and plenty of mukbangs and cooking uh, shows also we spent so much money they gave us a free book like we spend so much money here that they gave us a free homemade book on like cooking recipes and all stuff like that um, me and baby lips we aren't playing no games guys zero games <laughs> What up, citizens? So we just left the Grand Central Market, which as you've seen, is everything. If you are a foodie and you're living in downtown, you are familiar with this place. If you are not from LA, become familiar with this place when you do travel to LA. It's a cool setup, great like ambience, every cuisine you could imagine, and amazing like butcher shops, there's bars, there's like, I mean, you could buy fruits, vegetables, everything there. It's an awesome setup, wouldn't yeah, you say? It, and there's like so many stalls and vendors. Like we didn't even break the surface because I'm still like coming off this cleanse and this is a big, big like lunch for Dustin. We literally got bratwurst, chicken bratwurst with sheep casing. We got um, turkey Italian sausage with lamb casing. We got all beef hot dogs with lamb casing we got sheep neck okay i don't know if you guys know about that neck bone life that might be a black thing but oh my god it will change your life forever y'all ain't about that neck meat holy crap so we got lamb neck because like historically when people are eating neck bones they're pork right so we got lamb oh i forgot to ask her if she could get us a beef beef neck I'll let her know. Um, she's like now our butcher. Oh yeah. We got, um, I'll do like a full grocery haul, like for you guys, I'll do like a separate video so this one doesn't get too long of just a grocery haul. Oh my God, we got such great stuff. Like 
such great stuff. And now we're about to go to Whole Foods and then we still have to go to Ralph's because we are literally stocking the pantry so we can start cooking, having lunch from home. We have some, listen, we're not turning our back on eating out, don't think that. We have some legit reservations. I'm talking about one of our reservations coming up. We've been having it for like five months now. Yeah. Um, then we have another one that's like three months out. Dustin has another place that he has to call still that's probably gonna be like several months out, but we got some legit reservations. Okay guys, I don't know if you guys can see this. So I went to this place called Bell Compost. They're actually known for having, you go ahead and hit that. They're actually known for having uh, like their burgers. They're like hella famous. And I don't know if you guys can see this burger. This burger is everything right with the world. Like, I don't know, it's, 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 it's a weird look. I'm not sure if you can see this, but this, there we go. This burger was voted one of the best burgers in all of LA. They use their own meat. I don't know if you guys can see that. Uh, brioche buns, their own meat that's been dry aged for 45 days. Uh, white cheddar cheese, caramelized onions. Bruh, y'all see that? Time to eat. It's the first bite in this burger right here. Look at this. Oh, look at that! I don't, I don't even know if you guys can see that. Look at that! Look at that burger! Look at, look at that burger, cuz! Look at that burger! Okay, here it goes right here. Okay. Mm. Oh my God! Describe it. Mmm. Let me smell it. Okay, listen. The brioche buns are buttery and decadent, okay? Buttery and decadent, that's the first thing you hit. When your teeth slice through this burger, all you get is buttery, decadentness, and it is amazing. It is truly amazing. Um, and then, you get the meat, okay? You get the meat, now the meat tastes like meat. And anybody that's like a, a carnivore like myself, you know what good quality beef tastes like. This meat tastes like it's been cooked in other meat. Like, it is the essence of beef. Beef fatty, beef salty, mild sweetness, and it's been aged so you get like the flavors of an aged piece of meat. Then you hit the caramelized onions. Now these are almost like candy. Like, it is, re guys, thumbs up for Veronica being a weirdo. These are almost like candy. It's like the sweet mechanism to this. And it's like, it bounces off that meat so good. And then you hit the lettuce, which at this point is just there because I guess it's a burger and you need lettuce, but this burger is life, man. I'm about to dive right back into this joint. Mm-hmm. Mm. It smells like the most decadent onion soup to me, like, like one that's been simmering for like a week, maybe. I wanna taste that. And they got some fries. Mmm. Veronica's gonna try it now. Well, hold on. Well, keep eating because I have to tell them a story about this. Oh, so, God. Probably like two weeks ago, me and Dustin were talking about food, shocker. And he was telling me like, you have to be more open-minded. I don't like cheese on my burger. I never get cheese on my burger. I could eat cheese on pizza, tacos, I don't know what else I eat cheese on besides that. But like, I'm not a cheeseburger fan. And he was like, you have to try it. Like, you're missing out. Like, what if you really love it and like, you're missing out. So like, he's gonna kill this last half of this burger. On the next half, I'm gonna try it. And I'm gonna tell you guys what I honestly think. I left this hat, this little piece right here for her because I can walk this down right now. There you go, guys. Moment, moments of truth right now, okay? And I'm gonna take this bite of this like super cheesy. Um, let's see if you guys can see. Move your face. There you go. Yeah. Mm, uh huh. There she go. How many calories do you think this is? Take a bite, sweetheart. <laughs> <laughs> Fire! Explosion noise, boom, boom, boom. 
You know that's everything. Oh my god. From this, now on. This is just a burger. All burgers don't taste like this. Oh, okay. All burgers. Don't, you're right. All burgers do not taste like that. Like that is that burger is everything that's right in the world. This is my lunch right here. Mm. Oh my god. This is probably the most richest thing I've eaten all week. Right? Oh, it's so good, isn't it? I have to savor it. Uh huh. Because you guys know I'm still trying to lose, like, by the way, I'm, at, I'm down to 136 now. I'm still trying to lose, like, six more pounds. So, I gotta be careful. Indulge you. I, I probably gained about four or five pounds. No, you haven't. Maybe. Maybe not. I can't believe how good this is. What kind of cheese is on this burger? It's a, it's a smoked white cheddar cheese. Veronica loves cheddar. That's her jam. You know what makes it so good? The onions on it too. But the actual meat. And the Describe meat. the meat. It's like... All of you guys... Well, I'm not going to say all of you guys. But most people go to like fast food and get a burger right you've never tasted burger meat if all you are eating is like mcdonald's and like where else people go wendy's yeah you've never in and out shake shack oh well i'm not gonna i'm not gonna like slam in and out and shake shack i'm not but it's not this is this is burger meat. This is how it's supposed to taste like. You have to go find a place, and this was like a diamond in the rough. You have to find a place that is butchering their meat in house and selling it to you from the animal to the case. And they, it's not exchanged hands anywhere else. That's meat. If you're going to your local grocery store, like here we have Ralph's, other places, what are like Kroger, H-E-B -E for Texas, um, Kroger. Albertsons. Fries. Yeah. Like, if you're going places like that and buying meat, first of all, I suggest you watch Earthlings. But be, pre be prepared to become a vegetarian for like three weeks. Um, oh and God. it will change the way that you shop for meat if you continue to eat. You will, you will look at meat so differently. You'll never buy it from a grocery store again. You have to try this. This Their ketchup is like a smoky tomato. I'm trying not to eat fries. Oh, yeah. You can't have any? No, here. Put this my, is put so good. I'm not gonna put it on your meat, cause like that meat, that meat deserves better. But these are fantastic. You guys know what time it is. Baby Lips knows what time it is. Whole Foods time. Time to get healthy after that slop fest. So, Baby Lips right here. They just told me to watch the buggy as if it was gonna run off. Has just now, for the first time ever. When I say the first time ever. I went, I've been with Veronica for a very long time. I have never seen her eat a cheeseburger. She is the hamburger queen. Today, ladies and gentlemen, I am proud to announce to you that Veronica, aka Baby Lips, is now a part of the Cheesecake Gang. Round of applause. I'm excited. Round of applause. I'm not in the club. It's gonna take me a while to like be convinced because I'm hungry right now. I have not used the flavor, so anything tastes good. What's up, citizens? So we were in Whole Foods. I'm not lying. Oh. For, for like... For like two hours. Okay, <laughs> we were in Whole Foods for two hours. First of all, who do you know spends two hours in Whole Foods? Yeah. But we have so much stuff. Like, I'm so excited to be, like, eating at home and, like, making our food. Like... Oh, you know we need tortillas. Tortillas. You know what, guys? Tortillas. Honestly, this is this is our investment to you because we've got so much stuff that we normally don't get because we are literally going to kick launch our cooking. And we still like, have two more stores. Oh yes, we have two more stores to go to, and we're going to kick launch like our cooking show. So so many people, so many citizens out there on the comments, DM'd us all the stuff, like got at us on Instagram, and they want us to do a cooking show. Like we like how you guys cook, we love how you guys eat, so let's see how you cook what you cook and you know, what you guys like to eat. And we are about to do it all right now and I am so excited. Yeah, we have enough food, I'm not lying. I think we have enough meat to last us for like two months. 
Yeah, we do. Honestly, we more. <laughs> like we are, we are ready for the zombie apocalypse right yeah. now. But it's like it's so fun and it's like so exciting and I'm like really stoked about it. Now we're going, where are we going to the Asian market? Yes, we are going to the Asian uh, supermarket because to get that almond. You know, me and Dustin have like a love affair with ramen. We do. It is a concerning love affair, but we do have one of ramen. And I'm excited because once again, you know, that's something else people have been like, dude, you guys got to cook this. Like, you guys got to make this, blah, blah, blah. And now we are. And then like the other day, like this week, like a few days ago, I made Dustin's ramen and I put shrimp in it. He freaking loved it. So fire. You know, I got to do that again. Oh, yeah. Listen, there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff that's about to happen on this channel and we promised it to you guys and we said listen as soon as like you know we figure things out and we kind of piece everything together we are going to make this a reality and it is now becoming a reality um that means that we might have to go through like all these stores in la and spend a small fortune <laughs> getting these things done but i feel like it's worth it man. i just hope you guys like it and you know what it, i promise you there is going to be some trial and error but that's where you guys come in you can like give me tips and i'll give you guys tips you give dustin tips but i think it's like that's gonna be fun man like oh and somebody asked us to live stream and like we are trying to figure it out yes so <laughs> live streaming is not like on YouTube. It's not as simple as just like pressing the live stream button. So honestly, if any of you guys know how, because you have to like download something in order to do it, just please tell me because we are like really trying to figure it out because we want to start like live streaming with you guys. Yeah, or we can Google it, but <laughs> like I we tried to Google it. We, we absolutely Dustin hasn't tried yet, so he'll probably figure it out. We absolutely a thousand percent are going to start live streaming. Uh, for the citizen out there that requested it, uh, your your request has been met. Just give us a little bit of time. Um, we're going to start live streaming because Hopefully. we want, I think that's more interactive. I feel like we could talk to you guys more. You know, it, it's, it's real time. It's not reading comments. You know, you guys could, you know, say whatever you're thinking right there, then in the spot. And we can like get to know you guys more a little bit better. And I think you guys get to know us more a little bit better and not like, you know, the vlog editing, like just real uncut Dustin and Veronica DMV La La Land. And I think that's yeah. what you guys want. And I have the dopest idea for live streaming and I hope you guys like it. But I'll tell you about it like once we figure out how to live stream because I don't want to put it out there until I know for sure we can like do it and execute it. Right, so. right. And her idea was technically my idea. That but was not your idea. It was my idea. I promise it wasn't his idea. It was my idea. No, but okay. My idea. Okay guys, we are at H, H Mart, which store is number three. store number three, which is our Asian store that we go to. As you can tell in the background by the, uh, the exit writing. Um, yeah, we're about to come up here, and this place is hella interesting, y'all. Um, but in like the best way. In the best way, though. Stay tuned. Here it goes. Guys, I've never had jackfruit before, but this looks so good. Look at it. It's so heavy too. Jackfruit. These little mushroom joints are everything. I don't know if you guys can see this. And even, it shows you what it's for. If you can't see, that ramen like though, hey. Hey guys, I'm just saying though. I'm just saying though, baby lips, get it, get it girl with that base though, hey. <laughs> Yo, baby lips is going for the gold. What's up with this one though? Guys, if you don't know about this uh, pickled ginger life, for all my, all my Korean citizens out there, you guys go ahead and let us know what you think about this uh, pickled ginger and what we about to do with it though. All right guys, so this might be Veronica's little drink of choice. Um, this chick right here completely sold her on the idea of it. Ain't that right, baby love? Uh, yes. She's drinking now, guys. If you guys ever go to Korean barbecue, this right here is the type of meat that they have right here. Korean barbecue, small little thin cuts of beef. And this is what we eat in our ramen that makes it so wet. Look at my girl's reaction right now, okay? So, 
we were just talking about frozen beef neck bones and look what we run into beef neck bones a whole whop of them and baby lips is freaking out guys i can't make this up you guys see this the hunger games have you guys ever seen such a diverse soy sauce area look at this dude as far as i can see soy sauce and weirdos dancing look at her 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 oh oh girl oh do it to him girl do it to him <laughs> So guys, we're walking over there and a the lady literally ran up to us and was like, you guys have got to try this one. It's the popular one in Korea. And baby, we got it. We got it. No so questions. This is your favorite one. This is what people are eating in Korea. So, welcome to La La Land. It wouldn't be an Asian market if they did not have seafood. Ooey gooey duck, fishes everywhere. Looks so yummy. Check it out, guys. Blue crab, everything. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the best fish I've ever had in my entire life. It's called butterfish. First time having this was in Hawaii. It literally was the best fish I've ever had. They like seared in like a miso glaze. Fuego. That's Do like the first time I had all these tiger shrimp. Dude, the, and these tiger shrimp are everything. These are some of the biggest shrimp I've ever seen in my entire life. Guys, look at this. You guys see that? Heads on and everything. You guys see that? Anyways, if you guys can, most people can't because it's not in their region, but if you guys are in a region where they sell it, please buy Butterfish. If you don't like it, Veronica will reimburse you for it. All right, so we just got done. As you can see, our cart, check this out. This is our cart right here. Bruh. Three stores, and we have spent more money than I'm willing to say on camera right now. Shameful. It's her fault. We probably won't eat out. Dustin will not take me out to eat for like my rest of my life probably. Yeah, like I mean you're Kwanzaa, Merry Christmas, Passover, <laughs> Ramadan, all the holidays, she ain't getting nut, okay? This this look 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 at this girl. Struck and I'm a, I'm over here vlogging. You see this look at the struggle and I'm over here vlogging. That YouTube life is real. Anyways guys. Store number four, Daiso. Here it goes. Yeah, they don't let you vlog in here, so I'm gonna try to get this out real quick, all right, guys? Hey, it's a piggy bank. That is a piggy bank. That is dope. You guys see that? My baby wants a monkey piggy bank. We are now in Daiso, guys. And this is like the trinket store of all trinket stores. True story. Guys, if you need a rice bowl, they got you covered here. Trinkets on trinkets on trinkets on snacks. All types of stuff, bruh. Shenanigans. Finally leaving. Completely broke. And I'm going home. We have to go to Ralph's still. Oh, we have five stores to go to. Do you guys remember that one day we went to five stores in a row? All for you. It's hard for me to forget it. <laughs> Guys. Store number five. <sighs> First of all, let me, let me ask you guys a question. Who out there on YouTube is going to five different stores in one day to get you guys that content that you guys love so much? We are. Nobody else. Google it. Bam, so we're here at the cereal aisle and Dustin is taking his time picking out what cereal he wants. Oh, Dustin's giving it to you guys now. <laughs> so you guys, if you know me, you know I love goldfish. But I like the extra cheddar ones, and I heard that there's an extra cheddar spicy one. I have never seen that, so if you guys have seen that, please let me know where, because I would love to get it. Dustin's supposed to be picking out fruit snacks. He picked out his cereal, you'll see it in the hall. And now we're just trying to, this is all for our lunches, because you know, if we spend so much money, we can't afford to go out for lunch anymore. No. <laughs> so we gotta make lunch at home. This might even be dinner for a little bit too. <laughs> all right guys, I found the goldfish aisle. 
but I don't see the extra cheddar spicy ones. This is Veronica in her love, her love for Campbell's soup. It's not Campbell's soup. She looks like a unicorn. So cute. What you know about that unicorn life though, girl? Okay guys, so that ends this crazy day of shopping. Um, wild, we're out here in these streets all damn day. We got so much groceries. Like, it's nuts. I don't think anybody has ever got that much groceries. We went to five stores in one day and we did it all for you guys. So, fun fact, we're, gonna, we're gonna actually gonna make a haul. We're gonna do like a haul of all the stuff that we got, what we're gonna be doing with it, um, you know, all the wild different things that we got from different cuisines, different cultures, and everything that we got from today's five grocery store shopping day, we're literally going to do an entire haul for it. I'm excited about it. I can't wait. You guys stay tuned so you can see what we got and what our plans are to do with it. And much love, man. I appreciate you guys for checking this out and excited to roll out that new content material. Holla. Anyways, guys, if you guys like what you see, hit that thumbs up. Make sure to comment, share, like, and most importantly, subscribe to the best family on the tube. And remember, guys, live life beautifully with no regrets. And until tomorrow, hey. Hey. Oh, no.